Oh, hi there. Did you miss me? Huh? Did you miss me? <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Hey, Stapler, back at you for another video. So. Fucking no one's drunk. There we go. So, yesterday we did long cap versus pouches. I hope that um, clears things up on what the difference is and which is better. Okay, okay. You know, today's Sunday. I got another, tomorrow's the last day of fourth, then I go back to work Tuesday and Wednesday. I get to thinking, I'm like, you know, I haven't made a good dip review in a while. So I haven't done this dip in eh, a couple weeks, last month. Eh. And everybody's trending about Copenhagen mints and oh man, you know, Copenhagen mints not that great. I mean, it's good, but no. So let's start with my very first mint flavored dip I ever dipped in eight years. Ladies and gentlemen, Grizzly Mint Long Cut. I haven't had Grizzly Mint in quite a while. For the longest time, I wasn't able to dip it. Because, you know, I dipped the hell out of it when it first came out. Now it's like, you know, unless it's like a good ass date on Grizzly Mint, I won't dip it. But this is a good date to D6, which is, okay, how the numbers go on the back of the back sticker Grizzly goes A means January, B means February so on and then the last number represents the year so I got a D6 here January, February, March no, A, B, C, D January, February, March, April one month are we in June so this is a two month old can which is really good I've had this actually since May so it's not that old I'm gonna have some Friday, but I don't really want mint. So, I mean, I got three cans of Grizzly Wintergreen left, but I'm like, yeah, I'm feeling mint today. So, yeah. Uh, so, real quick, this is a can design, you know. It's, I call it the fucking black and blue ball can dip. Like, it's fucking, you know, black, blue, you know. Um, so, I guess we'll go over the tobacco content. 91 United States Tobacco, 9% imported tobacco. Now, when Grizzly Men first came out, it used to be 92% American tobacco and 8%, I think it was like foreign tobacco or something like that. Yeah, because you want foreign, Brazilian, imported. So foreign, Brazilian, imported for Grizzly. But... In case you're wondering what the, you know, because Grizzly Wintergreen is 70 30, um, natural is 90 10, and then dark Wintergreen is 100%, Grizzly Straight is 100%, and Grizzly Men is 91 and then 9. So that's how that goes. And then, um, yeah. So what the 9% means is that, like, the burning content, I guess you'll call it. Um, basically it means how bad it's going to burn your lip. But not really though, because Grizzly Wintergreen apparently burns a shit ton to your lip. I fucking don't. I mean, when you're first time dipping it, yeah, but that's about it really. So, now, a lot of people ask everybody this. What the, if you peel out the barcode, you get a number. And I got... A 10. That is what you call the moisture content. Like, how moist it's going to be, how the pinchability is going to be, um, how fresh it'll be, um, stuff like that. So, the numbers go from, it used to go 0 to 12, now it goes from 1 to 12. And if you get an unmarked can, I mean, it's still going to be good, but go figure, right? So we're going to go ahead and crack this and give her a whiff. Kind of crack this on, bitch, and give her a whiff. Mm. 
That's fucking weird. Easiest way I can describe Chris Mint's smell guys and gals is you know what um those peppermint candy canes taste like in the, in the, around Christmas time? That's what it smells like. That's what Grizzly Mint smells like. Coconut mint to me smells and tastes like fucking toothpaste. This doesn't. You know, I've still yet to get the fucking telling it like it is saying on the grizzly cans, but it's whatever. So, smell the can, I give that a rating of 8. I mean, it's got a really good, like, um, smell to it. And then, but it doesn't, like, you know, it doesn't, like, punch in the face. But, you know, how big of a dip do I want? Shut up! Shut up! Fucking dogs. Okay, how does she pinch? Bark of the fart. That's just barely pinching it, so that pinchability on Grizzly Mint is a 10. That's just amazing. Yeah, that so pinchability and grizzly mint is just fucking amazing. That's definitely a ten out of ten. The reason why I'm re 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 reviewing it is because I don't really like my last grizzly mint review. Oh, it looks fucking big, but I'm having trouble with taking it off. So if you're packing up me, cheers. How does it cut on it? You know, actually it's a very long cut. Well, there's a long cut, but. I guess she is a good old speed buggy spitter. I feel fucking naked on my head. There we go. So what's it taste like? You know, measurement's got a good taste to it. Taste is, I'd say, um, if I compare it to something. That's why if someone tells you it's like, oh, all mint tips taste the same. No. I mean, you do got, um, cheap mint, and you got expensive mint, and then you got mint tips, and then you got the ones I think are good. I don't think, I don't know, a couple of you might might remember this dip. <laughs> Can you remember Kodiak Mint? That's actually a really rare dip to find these days. But Kodiak Mint is um, really good and that's what I can compare Grizzly Mint to is Kodiak Mint. Kodiak up in my state is fucking like eight bucks a can. Speaking of on top of your Kodiak. Did you know that Kodiak was the very first dip to become premium. 
Fast forward, Grizzly did. See, Grizzly didn't come premium till like 2000 and twelve or no, I meant. I didn't attend to that. 14, 13. So, yeah, I was 2012. I was it. I have an old ass Grizzly Wintergreen sticker somewhere. Ah, eh, fuck it. I don't know what's that. <laughs> but, anyways, I went premium because Grizzly was going up in stock prices. And the tobacco industry. Now, yeah, there's a shit ton of people dip Grizzly Wintergreen, Grizzly Straight, Grizzly Mint. In my opinion, that's why Grizzly is the most number one dip, no, number one company out there. If you think about it, Copenhagen. You know, U.S. smokers isn't really doing that great. Like stock-wise, they're not doing that great. See, I think that Copenhagen is trying to cop, trying to copy Grizzly in every shape, every every way, shape, or form. Think about it. Grizzly had mint for Copenhagen did. It was my fucking idea for Copenhagen to make a mint. Sure you can all fucking thank me. Cause I was fucking playing Xbox back in 2010. Why not? No, 2011. I was playing Modern Warfare 2 at my cousin's house. And I was dipping Crazy Wintergreen. I was like, hey James. He's like, yeah. Well, you know what's weird? What? They should make a coupon. They should make a Copenhagen's make a mint. Yeah, it'll be pretty cool. Four years later, they made a fucking mint. And the year after that, in 2016, guess what? It got fucking released nationwide, the dumb fucks. You know, it's fucked up, because if you think about it, When dip is more secretive, it tastes better. Now, because let's, let's think about this for a sec. I got Copenhagen Southern Blend before anybody did. I got Copenhagen Mint before anybody did. I got the Grizzly 6 and one can before anybody did. You know, that's why fucking, you know, it tastes better. My first can of Copenhagen Mint tasted a hell of a lot better than they do fucking now. Oh, let me show you something. No, it's a new one. Oh, I bet. 2014 when Copenhagen Mint came out. This is my first can of Copenhagen Mint. This is the back set to it. These are what they fucking look like now when they were released this year in 2016. And this is the fucked up part. This is what they look like in patches if you're not on fucking long cut. That's fucking retarded. Excuse my fucking French, but... Ah, oh, them Copenhagen boys aren't fucking smart. Damn the brightest fucking dips in the whole world. Sorry, I went on a little rant right there for about fucking five minutes. So now that the Grizzly Mint has settled in my lip, let's talk about it. On average, how long will the flavor last the Grizzly Mint? Um... 
Okay, I watched Long and Grizzly Wintergreen Long Cut. Let's put it that way. Grizzly Mint's flavor typically lasts 45 minutes to an hour. Or till your body can't handle any more like me. <laughs> but good look, a good look like this will last till about uh, yeah, let's see, it's 4.40 right now. I think it'll last till about 5.30, 6 o'clock. I mean, I got a pretty big fatty in. So, I don't know, spitability. Spitting pretty black, you know. So, so overall rating, pinchability 10, the look of the can, presentation. I like it. I've, I've always let the Grizzly make cans. I've loved them to death. And um, packability, it packs pretty fucking good. Stayed in the wet for the most part. That's another thing. If you have what's called a dip pocket, Actually, mine's like right here. Theoretically speaking, it should stay there throughout the whole time you're dipping. Unless it's been there for over an hour. What I suggest is to move it to like the other side. So now you get the full nicotine, you know, one whip. Okay. So. Overall reading with it by Grizzly Man again. Eh, once in a while. See, I don't understand how the fuck people can dip mint flavor dips every fucking day. I haven't met one person who dips mint flavor dip every day. Shouldn't say that. I know one guy who does. He dips Grizzly Mint. Almost every season except for winter he dips Grizzly Wintergreen. There's the time you just fucking grizzly man. <laughs> but, yeah. So, overall, guys, you should go get grizzly mint. You can pick yourself up a can and try it for yourself. Uh, there's never dip review. You should give a shout out. So, here we go. First shout out goes to my buddy, Ohio Dipper, my buddy Kyle. That was a great dipper. He dips um, Grizzly Dark Wintergreen, Copenhagen Mint, Grizzly Wintergreen, Grizzly Mint and Occasions. And he dips a lot of stuff like I do. Next is um, Iowa Dipper and Boy Dustin. He dips uh, Grizzly Wintergreen and Copenhagen Wintergreen. Yeah. And uh, next is um, a buddy. Jason Mueller, no piss and retarded fine boys. Jason Mueller, Wilbur, Justin, Stevie, <laughs> Tim. Well, good boys. Now, do shit down the farm. Sean Wayne says, I'm proud of you. Every single, every single stinking one of you. Yes, sir. Next on my list is um, my buddy Silver Slash, which I was going for <laughs> Chinese food. Isn't that fucking fun? Fucky duck. Huh. And last but not least, my girlfriend Jessica. Girl, I can't wait to see you. Hopefully, this weekend. If not, eh, it's whatever. I'll see you sometime. And finally, my buddy Roy Cower. Where's a good man? He dips screws in wintergreen. Gives you straight, coping straight, stuff like that. But, yeah. Anyways, guys, have a great rest of the night. Have a great freaking weekend. Take care, guys. Bye.